Well, hello again. As you can see, something arrived, and I've already removed most of the packaging, but I haven't seen it yet. So, let's get out of it, shall we? Come on. Let's see secrets. Well, as you can see, it is a helmet. There we go. Uh, it looks pretty dark in this lighting and kind of shiny, which is interesting, but that is just due to the paint looking like that. Anyway, this is a late wall M42. As you can see, no decal and no decal here. Unfortunately, the liner is rotted out and it is an EF helmet. As you can see by the font of the lot number. Uh, is it side marked? I actually can't see any marking anywhere, apart from the unreadable lot number. And um, yeah, it's still in really nice condition, apart from the liner having rotted out. I might even replace the leather, because I think I have one that should fit. Mm. Yeah, let's check the liner band for a date. It's a uh, Schubert one from 1943. It's a 6456. And uh, let's see if it has a dome stamp. Mm -hmm. Can't see one right now, but there may be one somewhere. It is a very nice late war, no decal M42. And um, let's just get into some more decent lighting. Actually, really quite dark, and the paint turned shiny by usage. It's got some weird shiny spots here, but it's not really too much to worry about. Mm. Yeah, it's just a quite nice helmet. Well, it may actually have some sort of varnish on it because here's a more matte spot. It isn't shiny, so I may have to look into that. Someone decided to tag this together for some reason, which is interesting. Um, let's have a look at the split pins. Yeah, they look pretty good. I'll probably just take some pictures of it now and, uh, yeah, look at it. <laughs> Yeah, it's a really nice helmet. Apparently it came from the Battle of um, the Reichswald, which I think it's near Krefeld in Germany, so Rhineland, sort of, yeah, just a bit more to the north. Yeah, that was it for this little unboxing video. I hope you enjoyed it and this helmet. And I'll see you next time. Alright, well, as you can see, I'm done with the helmet now. I did end up deciding to put this uh, leather piece in there because, I mean, it is original, so it fits and it's it's a pigskin um, leather, just like the one that rotted out of this one. So, it also fits. And, yeah, it's, it's pretty late war. And I also added a chin strap, which is also original. As you can see here, there's a Reichsbetriebsnummer on it. Come on. There. And it is 10035 and 0034. And um, yeah, now it's a very nice, complete M42 late war, no decal helmet. Yeah, very nice. So, uh, take some pictures now, and well, I'm gonna be happy with it. <laughs> and uh, yeah, I hope you enjoyed this little video, and I'll see you next time.